It's an Alabama weather update on Monday morning, August 18th. This is James Spann. Hey, let's go right to the uh, Skycam network. Ooh, yes, indeed. I like that a lot. That's our Skycam at Ardmore up in the Tennessee Valley of North Alabama near the Tennessee state line. Got the sun coming up on that horizon. Gorgeous scene there. They're sitting at 70 degrees. Of course, we'll heat up in a hurry today. This is August in Alabama. Highs will be in the 90s in most spots this afternoon. But it's pretty quiet this morning. There's the satellite imagery. And uh, again, just a few fair weather clouds around. Uh, Very calm. We note the closest rain activity early this morning. A cluster of thunderstorms in the Gulf south of St. George Island. And we'll see a few isolated, spotty showers and storms around later today. But probably not many, much like yesterday. We're in the 70s to start the day. Highs for most spots in the mid-90s this afternoon. And we're going to stay hot for the first half of the week. Highs up in the mid-90s today, tomorrow, low to mid-90s on Wednesday. However, heat levels will be falling late this week, Thursday and Friday, and through the weekend. And as the heat levels come down, rain chances go up. We'll expect to see an increase in the number of scattered showers and thunderstorms late this weekend over the weekend. Not to say the weekend's going to be a washout. It's not. But a passing shower or storm is likely from time to time. But this morning, things are quiet. Notice later today, cumulus clouds develop and a few of those towering cumulus growing into thunderstorms. That's 3 o'clock this afternoon. And as we always say, we stress the radar is not going to look exactly like that, but maybe something like that. Just isolated storms with temperatures up in the low to mid-90s. 8 o'clock, they're fading fast after sunset. And by tomorrow morning, again, we are mostly clear. Same thing tomorrow. Uh, We'll see a few spotty, random Isolated afternoon showers and storms. That's 3 o'clock tomorrow afternoon. Highs low to mid-90s. And as the sun goes down, those fade away quickly. And by Wednesday morning, we're dry. And again, we'll, we'll see an increase in the number of these scattered showers and storms later this week and over the weekend. This is rain for the next seven days. Valid through Sunday evening. And for most of Alabama, rain amounts in the one-half to one-inch range. And in the tropics, of course, we're still watching uh, Hurricane Aaron this morning, which is a Category 4 hurricane that's east of the Bahamas, north of Hispaniola. And there is absolutely no change in our forecast thinking here. Top winds, 130 miles per hour. The system moving northwest at 13. Aaron will be passing east of the Bahamas and then splitting Bermuda in the east coast of the United States on the journey out into the North Atlantic. And this, of course, will miss the United States. But the wind radius will be expanding which means there's going to be uh, very high waves and rough surf on the east coast of the United States and Bermuda as well. But thankfully, this thing stays well offshore. Now, behind it, there's another wave. This is the peak of the hurricane season out in the central Atlantic. And the hurricane center giving this a 50% chance of developing over the course of the next seven days. Nobody knows the intensity, the final track or destination. It's simply something to watch for now. This could turn north, not affecting the United States. It might affect Florida. We just don't know that yet. It's simply something to watch uh, at this point. So here we go. Here's a look at our seven-day forecast. And uh, you can see for the northern half of the state, the heat levels will be coming down. Uh, By the end of the week and the weekend, we've got 95 today and tomorrow, and the chance of any one spot getting a storm quite small. But then uh, showers and storms will likely increase by the end of the week with highs in the mid-80s by the weekend. Sounds very inviting. And then South Alabama, pretty much the same thing. Highs in the 90s through Friday, then upper 80s Saturday and Sunday with a general increase in the number of scattered showers and thunderstorms. That's your Alabama weather update this morning, and thank you for watching the Alabama Weather Network.